an antibiotic is used to cure a certain disease with a probability of 0 0.85 A. If four patients are given the antibiotic find the probability 1. Exactly 3 patients are cured 2. At least one patient is cured From this question we can describe what is X Let X be the number of patients are cured so X has a binomial distribution with N equal to 4, P equal to 0 0.85. Find the probability exactly 3 patients are cured. Okay, we can write as PX equal to 3. Okay, for this question, we can use either formula PX equal to R equal to N C R P to the power of R, Q to the power of N minus R, or we can use Table. Okay, if we use formula, we substitute x equal to 3 in the formula. So, okay, p x equal to 3 equal to 4 c 3 0 0.85 to the power of 3 times 0 0.15. And we get 0 0.3685. Or, if we use table, because of p equal to 0 0.85, we cannot find in the statistical table. We use q equal to 0 0.15. So, y has binomial distribution with n equal to 4, p equal to 0 0.15. But, the question is x, so we must change to y. So Px equal to 3 equal to Py equal to 1. We take 4 minus 3, we get 1. We must change to symbol greater than or equal to. So Py greater than or equal to 1 minus Py greater than or equal to 2. Get the answer is 0 0.3685. Okay, for question 2, at least one patient is cured. Okay, Px greater than or equal to 1 and Py less than or equal to 3. We must change to 1 minus Py greater than or equal to 4. Okay, read from table and we get the answer is 0 0.9995. B. If 600 patients are given the antibiotic, find the probability that 500 to 515 patients are cured. Because N equal to 600, we cannot find in the statistical table. We use approximation from binomial to normal. So, X has a normal distribution with mean 510 and variant 76.5 okay, for B1 the probability that 500 to 515 patients are cured we can write as P at greater than or equal to 500 and less than or equal to 515 ok we know we must do continuity correction so 500 must be in the answer so we take 499.5 and 515 also must be in the answer so we take 515.5 we change to Zx distribution and we get Pz greater than or equal to negative 1.20 and less than 0 0.63 and picture wise we get the area is between negative 1.20 and 0 0.63 and we know we can take 1 minus pz greater than 1.20 minus pz greater than or equal to 0 0.63 and read from table and the answer is 0 
Okay, number 2. The value of n such that the probability that at least n patient are cured is 0 0.9. Okay, we can write as Px greater than or equal to n equal to 0 0.9. And we do continuity correction. Okay, Px greater than or equal to n is 0 0.9. We do continuity correction because we want n as an answer. So, p at greater than or equal to n minus 0 0.5 equal to 0 0.9. Okay, we change to z. We get p z greater than or equal to n minus 0 0.5 minus 510 over square root of 76.5 equal to 0 0.9 and we picture wise and from this picture we, we can take 1 minus pz less than n minus 510.5 over 76.5 equal to 0 0.9 and we simplify we get pz less than or equal to and minus 510.5 over 76.5 equal to 0 0.1 and we cannot read from the table because the symbol is less than so we change to pz greater than or equal to negative and minus 510.5 over 76.5 equal to 0 0.1 one and we read from statistic table we get pz greater than or equal to 1.2816 equal to 0 0.1 and we compare n minus 510.5 over 76.5 equal to negative 1.2816 so n equal to 499.29 and we take 499 as an answer because n is the number of patient.